Pretty big. Here are some of the headlines to anticipate against tomorrow, the 20th of July, 2023. This is tomorrow's news today. We begin with national news. On election tribunal, Chief Justice of Nigeria had no phone conversation with Tinubu and others, says Supreme Court. Aregbe Shola's ex-commissioners and others get portfolios as a delicate swears in appointees. I feel pain for letting you down. Ms. Oma apologizes to Jam. House of Representatives confirms appointment of service chiefs. I won't interfere with the case. Imefiele asks court to grant him bail. You are clueless. IPOP slams Northern Group for asking Tinubu not to release Kanu. Nigerians are being punished unnecessarily. NLC reacts to petrol price hike. On post election review, INEC meets electoral officers and transporters. Federal government is yet to refund 323 billion naira borrowed from us, says State Fund. APC has abandoned welfare of Nigerians. PDP slams federal government over fuel price hike. On subsidy removal, the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria urges Tinubu to declare emergencies on refineries. We move to business news. Court awards Honeywell 72.2 billion naira damages against Echo Bank. Distribution companies are to fix 40 transformers, not communities, Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission says. Oyedele, chairman of Tinubu's Tax Reform Committee, resigns from PwC. In tech news, Comply with data protection laws by December 2023, NDPC orders banks, telcos and others. Activision and Microsoft extend deal deadline to secure UK approval. In international news, Putin to stay away from BRICS summit in South Africa. US military scrambles to determine fate of a soldier who fled to North Korea. World Health Organization says contaminated cough syrup is sold in Cameroon. Last thing, sports, ARU provisionally suspend Toby Anusa for missing drug test. Explosion in Gulf's prize money is not sustainable, once British Open chief Martin Slumbers. Benjamin Mendy signs for Lorient after sex trial. Infantino urges fans to seize moments on eve of Women's World Cup. Get details of these news and more on our website at guardian.ng or pick up a copy of our newspaper from your closest newsstand. Do not forget to follow us at Guardian Nigeria on all our social media platforms. I'm Ifinaya Wachiku for Guardian TV. Good night.